So this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more of a how-to video than an entertainment video. Basically, I don't remember if I mentioned it in my previous Supermoto video, but the dirt bike isn't running quite right. It would spit, sputter, bog, and it just felt like something was off, and I couldn't quite pin it down. And uh, so I did what everyone does, and I searched YouTube, and I actually found the solution. So that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to show you what was wrong, why it was bogging and sputtering, and what you have to do to fix it. So what happened to my bike is inside the tank, there is a fuel filter, and that fuel filter cracked at the very top. And so now every time the bike is running or I just start it or give it gas or anything, it spews fuel. And uh, or actually, I think you can see it. There's an easy way to check if you lower the fuel in your tank to about half, maybe a little bit less. And you just look inside and give it a little, little start. You should be able to see it. You can see the fuel filter there. I can't see the crack, but watch this. See? Yep, that's what went wrong. Now I got fuel all over my camera. So first I'm gonna take off seat, then I'm gonna take off these, and then I'm gonna take off the tank. So most of you probably already know how to take off the tank, but for those of you who don't, all you do, there's one little bolt in there you take out, unplug this, and then there's two, I don't know what you'd call them, they're not bolts, but basically they connect into connect to the uh, fuel pump inside, it's kind of that darker area right there, and you're gonna wanna take those two off, and then after that you can just slide this tank right off. Uh, I'm an idiot. Make sure you drain the tank or at least have a bucket underneath when you start doing this. That way fuel doesn't go everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that all the fuel has been drained from this, I went ahead, I took off this, and now you're going to take off this. Now, you could leave this on attached to the bike, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take it off right here. And th this one's harder on my bike than other KTMs and Husqvarna's, but yeah. Just go. I might need two hands. One eternity later. Okay, I got it. it. Took two hands, but it came off. And that's your like mini fuel filter. So now that's that that is off, this should just come right off. Yep, and there it goes. Oh, there's more fuel. Don't mind me, I'm just relieving myself. Okay, so now that the fuel tank is off, you're going to want to take out these four bolts, and then you're actually going to have to take this off as well, and then you'll, the pump will pull out, and you should be able to pull everything through here, um, take it out, put the new fuel filter on, put it back, tie it all in, put it on, and it should be good to go. I got this off. I'm gonna set it to, ooh. <laughs> set it to the side. Okay, so now all we have to do, we'll take this, 
We'll undo those two little clamps. This should pop out, take it out, and replace it with this new one. And I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but we'll figure it out. Okay, I finally got the old one off and I went ahead and just pried it apart to look at it. Um, yeah, I definitely needed a new filter. That's part of my problem. And uh, I, I have not seen this piece anywhere. So it's not part of the problem, so I'm just gonna not do anything for right now. Okay, so now that we have it on there and we have it crimped, which I did get it a little bit closer. I didn't think about it. Um, it'll be fine, it's not coming off. We're gonna just stick it back in there, line the two holes up. Okay, I went ahead and put the tank back on. Um, I connected these two. It was a little bit of a pain to get the fuel pump in, but I did it. I'm proud of myself. And all that's left is for me to put the uh, plastics on, put the seat on, and uh, we should be able to give it a go. Okay, I have everything back on except for the seat because I didn't want to put it back on before I tested it just in case I did something wrong and I have to take it all back off. Let's see how it goes. Do it a couple times, get all the air out. Okay. Next step is uh, put the seat on and then I'm going to take it for a test drive. It definitely has more power. I can tell you that right away. I can definitely tell it has more power. It doesn't bog, it doesn't sputter because like, for example, I'll go into fifth. If I was doing this and I got on it in fifth, it would bog, sputter, and wouldn't want to go. But now it goes and it sounds better. So I fixed it. Pray for me. 
I bet pulls second gear wheelies like nothing. Oh yeah. <laughs> 